Alright, I hope you're as excited as I am because we're we're about halfway through the National Lacrosse League's you know um, 2021 2022 season. Plus, we have some other stuff from the outdoors, you know, the outdoor game as well in, in the lacrosse world. Um, I do have some notes this time. I, I, I neglected to do some notes last time. I have been watching highlights, been watching full games. Of course, keeping up with the National Lacrosse League this year has been a priority for me, and that's exactly what these videos have come to. That's exactly what they coming to and right now I'm um, kind of shocked we aren't talking about the Buffalo Bandits a little bit more they're undefeated still in the NL Dane Smith leading the way for him he also leads the league in scoring um, as well so you know it, it's it's been an interesting time you know we're, we're, most teams will only play like six or seven games right now uh, six to eight games at this time so you know there's still been some bye weeks and you know COVID has been a, a factor such as Halifax having to relocate a few games to Hamilton due to COVID and there's still I believe there's still no fans in arenas in the um, at least in the Canadian markets at least so there's that uh, San Diego Dane Dobby he's still doing work they, I mean San Diego's just been continuing to do what they do best which is win Colorado has also done such a great job you know coming back from that beating they got San Diego that I watched in December. That was a again. That was a beating. San Diego put on them um, early in the season. That was like the first game of the season, I think. Um, Lyle Thompson, the company down in Georgia, they're doing they're doing their thing. You know, you know Thompson can get hat tricks and stuff like that, and, and five goals, five assists. And, you know, all he wants to, but Georgia, it's, it's it's for the swarm. It's just like it's not resulting in you know a winning record right now. They're like three and five. Uh, they they had a couple of they, they split a couple of games in Albany in the last couple of weeks so you know that that's been that's been interesting uh, Albany themselves they the Firewolves have been really fun to watch like this is a team that knows how to play some lacrosse I tell you I tell you what they they know they know how to play man they know how to play they can they can hit you with some thrillers man and that's what exact that's exactly what this team has been doing the last few weeks. Uh, Calgary, the last NL champs, unfortunately haven't had a good season so far. They're, it, it's been kind of rough for them, but again, there's still like 12 games left to go in the season. So, you know, most teams still have 12 games left to go, so, you know, things should smooth themselves out in due time. Jeff T, you know, he may not be on a winning team. You know, the Riptide are not really that good right now. But, hey, at least my man's having fun. At least the number one overall pick is having fun, you know. Uh, and a, a fun combination out in Philly, though. Fun combination again. Um, I forgot which game it was a couple weeks back. You know that Philadelphia Albany game from a few weeks back. I mean McIntosh, Ben McIntosh, Matt Rambo, Blaze Riordan. They they are they are a fun trio. I tell you what, definitely a fun trio to watch. Of course, you gotta watch out for other guys as well. But that trio right there has been really fun to watch. Kind of does suck that. My Panther City Lacrosse Club kind of isn't very good. Again, you know, they've again, uh, the Panther City's just been putting players, you know, out, you know, left and right, you know, trying to find out what fits. You know, again, that, that's the nature of lacrosse. You know, you got to find out what fits. Uh, and it, it's just not working right now. I, I, can, I can tell you that much. I do have a date circled for a game I want to go to, but I don't think I'll be able to go, unfortunately. So... Uh, that kind of sucks for me, uh, but I will tell you something. Something good has happened as we get into the outdoor portion. College lacrosse it started back up. Uh, there was like a game on the 29th, and then you know full lacrosse has really started up for the college game. So I'm excited to see whoever comes out uh, as like the number one pick for either the NLL or PLL drafts. I'm excited to. You know, see, again, I don't watch college lacrosse. I'm not. It's kind of similar to me with the, uh, I don't, I don't know what else, what else it's similar to, but, you know, I, I, I prefer, well, I guess college basketball, because, I mean, I do prefer college basketball over the NBA, uh, but I don't like college lacrosse, but I like pro lacrosse, but, I mean, y'all you, have heard me say this spiel a couple times already, but lacrosse for the college game has started 
I'll try my best to see some games this year because there are some really interesting teams. Again, I haven't found a – again, another reason is because I haven't found a team. Again, there's no college team near me. So, you know. Uh, speaking of teams, you know, near you or rather cities near you, the PLL has – announced their first six tour stops and players have already been traded and stuff like that as well. I've seen some players being traded around and, you know, give it up to other teams and stuff like that as well. Uh, but the first six tour stops are Albany, Charlotte, Long Island, Baltimore, and Minneapolis for the first five weeks of the regular season, beginning June 4th. Then the All-Star Game, which will be in Boston on July the 16th. There's going to be a bye week in between, you know, the first five weeks of the season and the uh, the All-Star break, so that July 9th day, ain't nobody going to be playing. They, the guys moved it back, Rappel and company moved it back to two-day weekends, and I see a lot of times, you know, I have to look, uh, let, me, let me check my schedule real quick, because I do have a watch schedule for stuff that I want to watch, and I, I am meticulous about that. This is something you'll learn. Uh, but yeah, most of these times, you know, they're kind of favorable but at the same time not so much you know a lot of these are really late in the evening you know um, there's some friday nights mixed in there there's saturdays you know for the most part Mo well obviously mostly saturdays there's some sundays mixed in there again you know you gotta try and mix and match it it's not gonna be the three-day weekend anymore the tour will be a lot longer and a lot of people are like speculating you know where's the west coast at where's florida where's texas I'm sure the guys will announce something, you know, in the next couple weeks again. We'll get an update, you know, out um, here for this channel at least in March or around like week 16 of the NL season. We'll do something for that there. Uh, I'll, I'll say that right now. So, you know, it, it'll, it'll be sometime in March we'll be get that next update for you all out. But that's, uh, we're not going to discuss that right now. Um, in full, we have to wait until the channel update in March. So uh, I'm just going to tell y'all right now. Uh, but yeah, a, a lot of people want a lot of, you know, some West Coast type style. Portland has been mentioned. I think Seattle's also been mentioned. I'd like to see that. Canada, I don't I think. Uh, some people have brought up Canada. But I don't think that's going to be a no-go. That's going to be a no-go for right now. Uh, Texas, love, the couple, love for somebody to come on down here and, you know, entertain me because I mean I, I, there's probably going to be a weekend somewhere where I'm just like yo what what is there to do oh yeah the PLL's here so you know hopefully you know the PLL comes to Texas if they go to Florida that'd be great too again a lot of these have been northeast stops that they've announced so far which really isn't you know really is a thing but I mean it's where a lot of lacrosse players are in the northeast I mean you just there's just no you know but there's just uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, it is what it is. So, so yeah, that that's pretty much all I got here. In all honesty, you know, again, I, I hope the PLL comes to Texas. I hope they come, you know, out west. Because, I mean, again, if you want to grow the game, you got to go out west. Denver's, you know, a, definitely a place to go, too. You know, because, you know, uh, Outlaws fans are definitely crying for their team back. I know, I know they are, you know. And I hope, the P again, like I've said before, I hope the PLL moves to, like, actual city-based teams, you know, soon. I know, I think Atlanta was a place as well that I think the PLL should stop, you know, because I think there was a time on, like, the original 2020 schedule that they were supposed to go to Atlanta, but again, you know, they got axed and we had to go to the bubble. Uh, but yeah, definitely Atlanta's another place, too. But Charlotte, Charlotte's a perfect place to go. Charlotte's a perfect place to go. Minneapolis is, uh, it's all right. Albany, of course, you know, lacrosse hotbed. Long Island's been all right. Uh, Boston's been okay, too, you know. Again, you know, a couple times I think they've been there. Uh, but Albany, definitely a great spot for the PLL to go, as usual, because, I mean, it's Albany. I mean, it, you know, it is what it is, man. They love some lacrosse up there. They've had some good crowds up there. Uh so yeah, I'm excited for what the PLL will continue to announce throughout the next month or so. I'm hoping that they get the rest of these tour stops up and ready by the time we get our next update video out. And for all of you that are watching, I hope you like, share, comment, and subscribe because we got more content like this. Cook it up. And I will see you all 
on Friday. Yeah, Friday. We're talking Super Bowl 56, baby. And we're going to do a big-ass preview, get it out, and make the magic happen. So to all 161 of you and others who may not be subscribed yet, be sure to click the notification bell and turn on those notifications. I will see you all on Friday. Good night, everybody. And good day if you're watching this. It, it like the morning or something like that. <laughs>